Good morning and welcome to our first day back from spring break at Mrs. Achari's kindergarten cabin. And today we will be picking up with our addition math lessons. And this week we'll be learning different ways to make 10. And then we'll also just be learning some different strategies for addition so we can have some different ways to practice our addition so we can get really good at it. So today though, I could not help myself. We just had Easter. So today's actually going to be a fun activity that I'm going to show you using some things that you guys might have around the house from Easter and that is these little plastic eggs. We're going to do some Easter egg addition. So before we do that though I'd also like to just show you really quickly something new that we're going to be doing this week at the beginning of each lesson. At the beginning of each lesson we'll be doing um, some fluency activities and if you remember fluency activities are things that help us think fast so that we can become really good at numbers and inside of our brain. So what I'm going to show you real quick um, is just something that you're going to be seeing from this point on throughout the week. It'll be the very first thing that we do. And these are called dot cards. So if you take a look at these dot cards, they have a certain number of dots. And your job is to look at the dots and quickly count them um, and see how many there are. So I'm gonna show you these particular cards today because there's a certain way that you can teach your brain to look at them. So if you take a look at this one, you can see that there's a group of five and a group of one. So in your brain, you can be thinking, okay, there's five and there's one, and five and one is six. Very good. So automatically you can look at this and you can quickly, instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, you can look at the groups. Five and one is six, okay? So that's your first dot card. So then I'll take a look at another, we'll take a look at another one. Now we have another one that has a group of five and then there's two more. So in your brain, you're going to be thinking, okay, five, six, seven. Oh, that's seven. So instead of counting all of the dots by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can quickly think about the groups, five, six, seven. So that's how I want you to be thinking about these dot cards. Let's look at one more. We have another group of five, and then this time we have three more, one, two, three, so five, six, seven, eight. So instead of saying one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna think of it, think of it as five and three is eight. So that's something you can look forward to for the rest of the week. Alrighty, now it's time for some Easter egg addition. Okay, so what I have done is I've collected my materials, if you are going to do this with me at home, you'll need a piece of paper or a whiteboard to write your addition sentences on. And then I have the eggs in the cup and I'll show you what I've done. I have broken up five eggs into tops and bottoms. So in this cup are the tops and in this cup are the bottoms. So I drew dots from one to five on each top and I've drew dots from one to five on each bottom. So there's one and then you'll see and it goes all the way up to five. There's another one that has two, there's one that has three, there's one that has four, and there's one that has five. And then same thing with the bottoms. Like this one has three, okay? But um, there's numbers from one to five dots in the bottom, okay? So I bet you can already figure out how this game is played. So what I would do in the classroom, if I had you in there, is first I would teach you the game, which is what I'm going to do now, and then I would have you do it with a partner. But since we aren't able to do that, um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to teach you the game. And then I have another set of eggs that I'm going to put together and I'll take a picture of it at the end of the video so that you can try it at home, okay? And maybe there'll be someone at home that you can work with or you can just do the addition yourself because I know how smart you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull out a top from this one. So that would be partner A would go first and take a bottom out of this cup and I'm going to count the dots on the top. How many are on the top? One. That's the first number in my addition sentence. One plus two equals, so my second number in my addition sentence is two. One plus two equals, let's count them up all together. One, two, three. One plus two equals three because I have added the dots on the top to the dots on the bottom, and now I have one plus two is three. Okay, let's try another one. 
Got some pink and purple action going on here. Three is the first number in my addition sentence. Oh, well, wouldn't you know? Three and three. So I'm gonna put them together. Three is the second number in my addition sentence. Three plus three equals, let's count them up all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three equals six. Next one. Ooh, this is gonna be a big one. One, two, three, four, five dots on the top. And wouldn't you know, I got the other yellow. And then there's one, two, three, four on the bottom. Let's put it together and count them all up and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four equals nine. Okay, let's try another one. Two plus one, two, three, four. Two plus four equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Two plus four equals six. And whoops. Three on the top. And one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. So our addition sentence is going to be three plus five equals, we're going to add them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. Okay. So if you did make this game at home, all you would have to do is break those apart and put them in the separate cups again and you could play with someone again and the addition sentences would probably change because you can put different tops with different bottoms. But so I just made an extra set so we could just hurry and <clears throat> get to it, okay? So this is what we're going to do now. As I said, if we were in the classroom, I would have these made for all of you and I'd pass them out and you could play with a partner. But since I don't have that done, or I don't have the opportunity to be with you right now, we're going to kind of do the same thing. Together, we'll put them together. And then at the end of the video, I'll take a picture of it so that you can practice it at home. You can try to, you can practice the addition problems at home, okay? So, let's see here. We've got a pink and a purple. So remember, when I send, when I show you the picture of these, when you get at your house, remember that you're adding the top to the bottom, okay? So there's the first one, five plus one, See, oh, we've got another pink, different kind of pink with a purple. So our top number is four and our bottom number is two. So it's going to be four plus two. And I'm not gonna tell you, I just kinda of wanted to review that. So now I'm just gonna show you, take a picture and let you try these at home, okay? Now we have two on the top and three on the bottom. <laughs> one and one. And last one. Ooh, and a big one. Oops. These are silly sometimes. Four and five. Alrighty, kiddos. So keep watching and you will get a picture of these eggs so that you can practice writing addition sentences to go with them. If you want to snap a picture later so I can see what you came up with, I would love to see it. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and have fun playing Easter egg edition. Have a great day.